the infamous Hank Palmer. The jaded lawyer with no respect for the law. Hey! Did that just happen? How does it feel? Knowing every person you represent is guilty. It's fine. Innocent people can't afford me. What's up, guys? So the judge came out at the beginning of October, and I wanted to see it. I missed, you know, going to see it in the theater. I didn't get to see it, so I actually finally got the chance to see it, because I did want to. You know, it's not one of those films that it came out, you know, if, if I didn't get to see it, whatever. But this one I actually wanted to see. So I went out, I saw The Judge. And what this film basically is, is Robert Downey Jr., he plays this lawyer guy who pretty much, you know, he's a lawyer. He goes to court and he defends people and whatever. So when he gets a call that there's a death in the family, he has to go out, you know, from where he lives to wherever his uh, his father lives and his family lives. I forget where the place was, but he has to go there. And after everything's done, when he's about to leave, he gets a phone call and he finds out that his father may be convicted for murder. Is he? Is he not? I don't know. That's the story of the film. That, that's where the film, basically the main story, the plot line takes place. So, you know, going into it, you know, obviously, like I said, I really wanted to see it. I was excited to see it. I like Robert Downey Jr. as an actor. Vera Farmiga, I like as an actress. Robert Duvall, I like as an actor. So going into this, I was excited for it. And I thought The Judge was a good movie. I thought it was a fine film for what it was supposed to be. Definitely a fine film. I'm probably going to get it on Blu-ray. I liked it a lot. And, uh, you know, Robert Downey Jr.'s performance is absolutely phenomenal. Is he going to see an Oscar nomination coming his way? I'm not sure. Robert Duvall has a better shot, I think, at getting the Supporting Actor nomination because he is phenomenal in this film. Every scene he's in is electrifying. Every time he's on the, you know, on, on the screen, it's you're you're sucked in just because his performance is so good and the character you start growing sympathy for you know but towards the end of the film we're gonna see what happens you know i'm not gonna spoil it here but uh if there's one character that i think should have been cut out of the film entirely it should have been vera farmiga's character because i think that her character literally it didn't really progress the story in my opinion and it didn't take away from it it was just kind of there you know just to make the runtime longer I mean, this movie's like two hours and like 10 minutes without credits and it was pretty long i mean i'm entertained the whole film but some of the scenes especially with Vera Farmiga, I felt could have just been cut out. So, therefore, I think her character wasn't even necessary to have in the film. That that whole entire thing with her didn't have to be there. But everything else, you know, from the court scenes and, you know, whenever Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall are, you know, on the screen together, their chemistry is absolutely phenomenal. You believe every second of it. And there's some really intense scenes in this movie between them and between others. It's just, especially between them, there is some really intense stuff and they play it beautifully. The cinematography, I was actually really surprised. Like 20 minutes into the movie, I'm sitting there thinking, this is actually really good cinematography. The score by Thomas Newman, it, you know, his, his uh, music never disappoints. But it did kind of sound like the Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events scored. Sounded kind of similar to it. And he did compose that film as well, so it's kind of ironic. Overall, I thought The Judge was a pretty good movie. You know, I enjoyed it for what it was, so my overall rating is a three and a half out of five stars. I did like the film. Like I said, I'm probably going to get it on Blu-ray. Guys, did you see The Judge? You know, you had a lot of time to see it. It came out in the beginning of October, so if you did see it, Comment, what did you think about it? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to, uh, to say. So yeah, comment below. Subscribe to this channel because today I will be posting How to Train Your Dragon 2 Blu-ray unboxing. Now, it depends on what time you're watching this because if you might be watching this review tomorrow, which means both videos are up. So just, you know, check the channel whenever you are watching it and the How to Train Your Dragon 2 Blu-ray unboxing will be up uh if not already eventually so guys as always thank you guys very much for watching and i hope you subscribe over and out you and i are finally done oh we're not done